I'm joined today with Catherine Edwards. She is the vice president of the Kiwanis Music Festival Committee here in Lloydminster. We're going to be talking a little bit more about this year's festival. Thank you so much for taking some time to talk with me today, Catherine. Thank you for having me. Last year, uh, like you mentioned, uh, the festival wasn't able to go ahead as planned. This year, it's going to be a virtual format. Can you just tell me a little bit more about how things are going to work this year? Yeah, so uh, our our festival we run with, uh, so we, we're part of the Saskatchewan Music Festival Association. So what happens uh, this year is that we're doing, um, uh, basically it's 100% it's virtual. So what that means is that this year, as opposed to our previous festivals where it's an in-person festival where they um, they come in person and they perform their pieces live in front of an audience and in front of adjudicator. Uh, this year they take videos of themselves and then submit them virtually. So we've actually had to reconfigure the entire format of how we do the festival um, because this year they need to upload their videos uh, ahead of time and get those done. Um, so it's 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 a completely different format than what we've done in the past, but we've had a lot of support from the Saskatchewan Music Festival Association and the program that we're using. It's it's really efficient and it's running really well. Uh, so entries closed over the weekend for people who wanted to uh, take part. Uh, how good was the turnout from people uh, taking part this year? Well, we did we did anticipate that we were going to have uh, that we were going to have less participants this year. We we were anticipating that, and uh, we have about forty five percent of what we normally have. So last year we had 800, 882, I think is the amount of entries that we had. This year is three hundred and thirty seven. And part of the a big part of that reason is because we we heavily had. Um, we had a lot of involvement from the school bands uh, locally, and we did have some choirs as well. And because of the restrictions in the schools this year, as far as, far as um, having band class, that that also affected our numbers. Also, I think just um, uh, just the preparation for it this year is different than than in years past. Um, a lot of teachers this year are teaching online as well, they're teaching virtually. So I think there was that uh, that obstacle as far as preparing your preparing the students for music festival this year. So we were we were anticipating that the numbers were going to be lower and and they were they were. Yeah. And how important is it for kids to be able to be exposed to music and how does it benefit them? It, music benefits children in so many ways. Um, it's it's been scientifically, it's been scientifically proven that music, uh, because you are working a different part of the brain, and in some cases, um, you are actually working multiple parts of the brain. So you're actually expanding a child's learning capacity. You're expanding what their brain is capable of um, absorbing. So there's that side of it. And not only that, but, and I think this year has really proven proven this point is that um, music is can, can be seen as a form of therapy it can be seen as a as a comfort for people and I know in the last year we saw that all over the internet that people were creating these music videos and creating these um uh like these virtual uh like uh, virtual choirs that they were doing so I think this year we really saw that people were finding comfort and they were finding um i guess solace and and therapy through music so there it, it is so much more than just learning notes and and playing notes it, it gives cre kids creative expression um self-discovery it's anytime you do something artistic it expands that creative side of 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 a child so um I think what's really great is that we were able to continue doing lessons this year. Um, a lot of activities were canceled due to uh, COVID restrictions. And thankfully, uh, the, the music community was able to continue in a totally different way. This whole year has been, uh, you know, basically I think turned <laughs> music teachers up on their head as far as trying to figure out um, how to continue offering music lessons. And uh, we're very thankful as a committee that we decided not to, it was very easy to just throw in the towel and say, this can't be done, this is too much. Um, 
and there are a lot of festivals that did that this year and that's okay because it, you know it's it, you know it's it's a it's been a lot of refiguring a lot of um you know touch and go figuring things out as we go um being in very close contact with the Saskatchewan Music Festival but at the end of the day I think we all agreed that it was important to have that that children had something that they could um that they could still work toward a goal that they could work toward um, a sense of accomplishment something that they can be proud of especially that they had some sort of activity that they could continue to do because so much has been canceled this year and it it was just one tiny thing that they could that they could work towards and some something positive that we could that we could bring to the community well, thank you so much for taking some time to talk with me today. And I know last year's event didn't get to go ahead as planned, but it's exciting that you guys were able to make things work this year.